Mazi Namdi Kanu's legal team expresses gratitude to the U.S. government for publicly acknowledging the Namdi Kanu's illegal arrest for the first time. The legal team of the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra Namdi Kanu has said that the United States of America has officially and publicly acknowledged that Kanu was unlawfully renditioned from Kenya by the Nigerian government in 2021. The legal team said this in a statement issued by lead counsel of the team, Barrister Aloy Ejimakor, who said that the US government made the acknowledgement in an official publication captioned, Country Reports on Human Rights Practices. Kanu's legal team said that the position the U.S. government had waited for almost three years to take and make public is surely well considered, and thus important for two reasons. The team said that the reasons include that, it affirms the case in chief, the team adduced since June 2021 that Kanu was unlawfully renditioned, not lawfully extradited, and it is expected that, Coming from a respected and an influential foreign power like the United States, the public acknowledgement would likely encourage the Nigerian government to also acknowledge that it had gravely violated Kanu's human rights by subjecting him to a horrendous extraordinary rendition. The statement read, the attention of Mazi Namdi Kanu's legal team has been drawn to an official publication a few days ago by the United States government captioned 2023 country reports on human rights practices whereby the US government acknowledged the obvious that Nigeria's secret police had violated Kanu's rights during his arrest and extradition and that Kanu was a victim of arbitrary arrest in June 2021. On behalf of Mazi Namdi Kanu, his legal team hereby expresses its profound appreciation to the government of the United States, including in particular the U.S. mission in Nigeria. It is indeed a demonstration of diplomatic courage. It needs to be emphasized that this laudable position the U.S. government waited for almost three years to take and make public is surely well considered, and thus important for two reasons. First, it affirms the case in chief we have adduced since June 2021 that Mazi Namdi Kanu was unlawfully renditioned, not lawfully extradited. These are two opposite concepts that bear dissimilar legal implications. Second, it is expected that Coming from a respected and an influential foreign power like the United States, this public acknowledgement will likely encourage the government of Nigeria to also acknowledge that it had gravely violated Kanu's inalienable human rights by subjecting him to a horrendous extraordinary rendition. To be sure, one way the government of Nigeria can come clean and acknowledge this egregious wrong done to Mazi Namdi Kanu is to banish any further temptations to impunity and summon its powers and discretions. Under the Constitution to bring the prosecution of Namdi Kanu to closure without further ado. In our view, this is the most sensible thing to do because Kanu's prosecution has, by effluxion of time, become attritional and questionable to boot. Given that it was initiated almost a decade ago in 2015 and for alleged offenses that are no longer in play, there are other cogent reasons, including the open and notorious fact that it is becoming increasingly clear that Namdi Kanu may never get a fair trial by dint of the grave complications created by the locale of his current detention Stay tuned and keep praying for our great leader Mazi Namdi Kanu.